Greetings, people. It's Mr. BDT and Dr. Brilliant yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. Doctor, how are you today? I am doing so well. I'm very happy to announce that uh, Rwanda, rather, Rwanda, in Rwanda. Do you know who's in Rwanda right now? Who's in Rwanda? Talk to me. The Idaboski himself. <laughs> Idaboski is in London. <laughs> Liquid metal is in London. <laughs> our favorite comedian. That's my favorite comedian. I'm trying to figure out where exactly because I need to get a ticket to go to that comedy show. <laughs> the, the Liquid Metal. The Liquid Metal himself. He's in town. <laughs> no, that one is a joy. That one is a joy in his own way. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, but my anyway. people. As you are joining in, please let me know what's up. Let me know where you're watching me from. I just want us to have this quick conversation as we get some insights from Dr. Brilliant. You know, it's a developing story. It's not really a developing story, but I know to the majority of people out there that will be observing things as they unfold might not have insight as to what is really going on and what is really happening. The topic of the conversation here is uh, about a particular young man called Lovi Elias. I'm sure he has been making some waves in the prophetic. You know, he has been trying by all means to convince people that he is from God or he has this special anointing and grace. But I don't normally pay attention to these young upcoming prophets because to me, they are just non-entities. But I, I'm sure he has garnered enough attention now or he's garnering attention and he has gotten to that point whereby he needs to be addressed and uh, there are certain things that need to be spoken about so that most of you can understand why you should follow a man and why you should not follow a man and most of you will understand why it's important to do an audit about a man of god or a prophet before you start following them background checks are very critical background checks are very important to do before you submit under any prophet remember in my previous video i told you the initiations that your prophets go through for them to have this prowess or for them to have this ability to manipulate you or to cast spells unto you to make you mugus and to make you gullible but before we delve deeper, my people, let me know where you're watching us from. Let me know if you can hear me loud and clear so that we can proceed without caution. I'm hearing that Lovi is in some spiritual conundrum, you know, spiritual fatherhood conundrum. He is at crossroads. I do not know if he's at crossroads or he is having a mental meltdown or breakdown. You know, some people react to have a delay reaction to events there are certain things that happened to lovi alliance before he started calling himself a prophet he went through a cycle a vicious cycle of ups and downs my people <laughs> do background checks about your prophets before you submit before we engage let me know where you're watching us from let me know where you're watching us from i don't want this broadcast to be long 20 minutes maximum but a lot will be shared and we'll do part two and part three so that most of you can catch up. But let me know where you're watching us from and let me know if you can hear me. Let me know <coughs> if it's loud enough. Lovia Elias is in trouble. That young man is in some serious trouble. And for people like that one, you know, I've seen, I've, recently I've just been receiving stuff about him. He's actually quite gifted. Not in the prophetic. He's actually quite gifted in another field all together i think Dota, you sent me a video of him a musical well, video so this this um uh, this guy i i mm. i actually like uh lovi longomba um or lovi elias as he calls himself um i actually think of all these people the young up and coming ones one um most of them do not have a discernible talent of any sorts but uh, Lovi is quite a good musician. He sings very well. He plays, uh, you know, this composition of music and everything. Very, very good. Even if you look and listen to the message that he preaches, he does not stray too far from scripture. In fact, he's still very much 
in the vicinity of scripture when he preaches. So I'll give those flowers to him. He's got talent, but it is the company sometimes. The company you keep is what soils you in the long run. So he's entangled himself here. Uh, and I think there's a, a, a certain young man that uh, is, I call them young men because they're, they're, they're young. To me, they're young. They're in their 30s. I'm an old man, so I can call them young. So here, the, 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 I think one of his friends, uh, Passion, um, might have involved him or pulled him closer to certain people that are very, very, very dangerous in these circles of uh, charlatanry and charlatanism. <clears throat> So this is where the problem is now, where we, we, it's emanating from, that they are claiming now that, okay, we mentored you, we made you. And most of this, particularly the one that uh, I won't mention by name, is from Zimbabwe, is very tall, is from Mashingo. Those okay, wait, know. before you go deeper, <laughs> with people need a background. You get people okay. need a background. Not everyone okay. understands what is going on or right. who love is or where love is coming from. But right. before we engage in that conversation, I want to know where my people are watching us from so that right. I can know if we have the right audience in the house. I'll, I'll slow down. <laughs> my people, where are you catching us live from? Let me know in the next 60 seconds. Indicate in the comments where you're watching us from and let us know if we are loud enough or if we are audible enough and the visuals are clear so that we proceed without caution. You realize that we will go for 20 minutes only to realize that no one was hearing what we were talking about. <laughs> My people, let me know. Can you hear us? And where are you watching us from? Uh, we have Gerard here from London. We have Tandy from South Africa. We have Gibson from Sweden. We have uh, watching from Zambia, Nakonde. Watching from Zambia. Brian from Kenya. Audible, nice. Rich Mega from, uh, is it Zambia? Yes, it's Zambia. From Liberia, Botswana, Dennis Jonas. I see you, my people. Botswana from Germany. Uh, Ingrid from Germany. I can hear you. I'm watching you from home. Catherine, where is home? <laughs> Dan, watching you from Kenya. I'm watching you from Sierra Leone. My, my people. You know, our demographics are expanding. We are actually in each and every country, which is a good thing. The Enlightenment series ripple effect is affecting and affecting many people from different parts of the world. Pensla, hey, how do you pronounce this one, doctor? Is it me? Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. United States of America, James. Oh, my brother, James. How are you there, my brother? Uh, we have Willie here from Liberia. We have Cameroon in the house. South Africa, Victor Lamini, Botswana, I see you. DRC, King Cash, I see you. United States of America, Kilo, I see you. Watching you from United States of Nigeria, Enes Danani, I see you. Malawi, Grace Life, greetings to you. I like your wisdom, bra. You inspire me. I see you, Titus Senior. Liberia, Ade, I see you. Ghana is in the house. George, is it George or George or Shante? Pronunciation, you know, is we are here, bro, Limpopo, South Africa, Botswana. That's about it, my people. I appreciate you and I love you. Lovi Elias is a very young and talented fella, but is brilliant, is already highlighted. Dr. Brio is already highlighted. He got entangled with the wrong company. Had love, he stayed focused. Had he devoted whatever his career or the so-called calling that he claims to have now, has, had he stayed in the right path, he could have been an emblem or he could have been someone who influenced or who could, could be influencing masses in a good way. If you take a rotten tomato and you throw it in a basket that is good tomatoes you realize that in less than two days the rest would have been contaminated that's the scenario with lovey alias he started very well with his music i was even listening to one of his videos or music 
musical piece that he did. He's very talented. But the people that Lovi Elias is with are trouble. Let's rewind and start from where he became a prophet. That's the interesting part to me. Dr. Brilliant, this young man used to be a spiritual son. We yeah. agree, and you understand. He used to submit as a spiritual son. Yeah. There was no calling upon his life. He was not called to do anything by anyone, as he claimed now. In his journey, in his transition, from being a spiritual son, to now start calling him a prophet, to now start calling himself a prophet. Something happened. Me, I pay attention to details. What happened? What broke Lovi Elias down and made him decide to also become a minister? I'll say something before Dr. Brilliant engages. 99%, my people, listen very carefully to this one. It's very important. 99% some of you, you say my statistics are exaggerated, but I speak with authority because I know it's for effect. 99% of spiritual sons that started their own ministries, that branched out of the so-called anointing of their spiritual fathers and started their own ministries, their own separate ministries, their own ministries that are not associated with the ministries of their spiritual fathers. They did so out of anger. One of the scenarios is because their spiritual father would have engaged with their wives and they found out. Or girlfriends. Or girlfriends. Mm. And these young ministers, these young spiritual sons, they have that fire to say, you know, we, they believe so much in the prophetic, in the, in the things of God. They love God so much. So that anger of having their spiritual father sleeping with their wives or with their girlfriends, it will leave them with nowhere to run to say, you know what, let me just start my own ministry and lead the people of God. And remember the spiritual fathers, your spiritual father, if you're a junior pastor in any prophetic shrine, your spiritual father is engaging with your wife. You might not know it, and you will never know it until accidents happen, and you eventually know it. Your father, but, like I uh, mentioned before. Let, let, let me chip in there, because, you know, when you say you might know or might not know it, there are some that know and willingly engage. Mm -hmm. I can give an example of one that is from Val, uh, one that uh, is, he, he goes by the name Miz, this is his, 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 his name, he also calls himself Miz Tancredi. Oh, this one that calls himself Apostle Miz Tancredi? Yes. Ah, that small that, boy, the con man, that one. Yeah, that one is a willing participant. Because what do you mean? He's a willing participant. He, he willingly offered his own wife because maybe they were failing to conceive, so they had to get a special prayer from the, from the spiritual father. So basically, that one, I can say, and you can sue me if you choose it to, uh, that his firstborn child is his brother, spiritually. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What do you mean when you say his firstborn child is his brother spiritually? Are you saying his own child is his spiritual brother? <laughs> huh? Wait, oh, is that, can you hear me? I do not know what happened. There, there was darkness. There was darkness on, the, on your side, but you are back to light now. And you are frozen. I do not get I do not get what Dr. Brilliant is saying here. So I would rather wait for him to come back and put more light. Then put more light to his uh to his statement so that we shall not be left in darkness. Dr. Brill, come back a bag. <laughs> huh? He said something that is confusing. And 
deep at the very same time his own son his own first son is his spiritual brother how do you make of such how do you how do you decipher such an encrypted allegation <laughs> These are what I call encrypted allegations. But be that as it may, let the man come back and explain himself. <laughs> See, this gadgets. Uh, somebody started showering my phone with uh, with calls to, to to avoid. I think they they deliberately try and disrupt. Uh, Doctor Brilliant, pause and go back. You yeah. say, Mizit and Kred. Yes, his first son uh -huh. is his spiritual brother. What do you mean by that? because it's not by bi biologically mm. um it's not his yeah i need to drink water bro wait drink 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 <laughs> you need water for this you're saying i'll keep it i'll keep repeating until i understand you're saying his child is not his biological but it's his spiritual brother. Legally, legally speaking, it is his child because he's the named father on the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Biologically speaking, it is not his child. Spiritually speaking, it is his brother <laughs> because he is born of his spiritual father. And is you say, like, is, it, is it lining up? He's lining up. Okay. So you are saying you willingly, you willingly, willingly gave yeah, his wife part, to his spiritual father. Yeah, it's part of the initiation and ritual. But um yeah, they had to come all the way to London from South Africa. Mm. And then the, the spiritual father scored. He scored. And and this is the same guy. That was that messed up a relationship that um, has probably caused a lot of pain for the very yeah, uh, person that we're speaking about. Lovi Longomba went through similar thing, albeit that he was not married. I think it was a girlfriend at the time. So spiritual father decided to sample um, some of these goods. Which was too much to, 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 to love this children. He, 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 he wait, wait, him. wait. You say Lovi Alaya's spiritual father also sampled Lovi Alaya's wife or girlfriend? A girlfriend at the time because it wasn't wife. Did Lovi Alaya's willingly offer no, this? No, no, no. This is it caused a rift for a while. I think they then came back, they found each other later on and thought, well, you know, spiritual sons, pros before broad so so lovi was not happy with the fact that his spiritual father tipped into his uh no he wasn't he wasn't happy and so he he sort of um, went off but like i said he's a very gifted guy very very gifted very who's lovi Elias spiritual father because now there's a confusion in his there's one that is claiming you see the one claiming now the one claiming now to be so because now is 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 popped up is is the world is paying attention and knows this young guy when it comes to teaching the word he like i said he is in the vicinity of scripture he is not straying too far from scripture he may not conform to the look that everybody uh, thinks a man of god should look like you know a, a lot of people in Africa think that a man of God has to have a certain look. So because he's not conforming to that look, a lot of people have dismissed. But if you listen, I mean, I know a lot of uh, a few people really that I respect, that I respect in my profession, that actually follow him because of the word that he speaks. But they don't know much of his history or anything of this sort. So that's why I said I would still, I still respect Lovi. Uh, I still think if he, he separates himself from these charlatans, he he has a, a good chance of um, making the most of uh, this talent that he has. Even that gift of speaking and teaching people, he has it. This is your question, Dr. Brilliant. Who's the spiritual father? 
Um, I know one that is claiming, I know one that used to be saying was his spiritual father is a tall guy in Zimbabwe, uh, um, but from, from a place called Mashingo, Zaka. He's very tall. If I, I, I can just say his name, right? You are not going to be sued. <laughs> I don't want about suits, man. Don't worry okay. about so it's easy. Uh, it's a very easy one. This one is 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 a fallen angel. So he calls. He goes by the name Angel. He calls himself Angel, but he's not. He's the spirit of Jezebel incarnate. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the, which one, this one is saying major? It mean the only major that I know is. Uh... Uh, there, are, there are different majors. There's, Bushiri calls himself Major. The, the, uh, Bushiri is also a son. So I don't think it's very uh, many ways. You, you, <laughs> you may be right. <laughs> okay, so who's claiming to be Lovis' father now? Or who is Lovis' father now? That's why I'm more interested. Um, right now, right now, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't know who whether he calls this a spiritual father or it's just somebody that's guiding him. I know that maybe um, the American guy, what's his name again? Um, the one that Passion claims to be his spiritual father. Um, Noel Jones. Bishop Noel Jones. But uh, the guy in Zimbabwe is now claiming, no, no, I raised you, I made you who you are. And if any of you follow Lovis' friend who's passion, you see the post that he put. There's someone that is actually pointing the finger to saying you're claiming to be, to be Lovis' uh, spiritual father now. So I don't know whether this thing, whether I know in, in the world, right, uh, most of the times when people go through these DNA tests and want to find out who their physical, uh, um, biological fathers are, the men are most of the times, the ones that are trying to run away and deny paternity. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to these spiritual ones, as soon as somebody sees a gift and a talent and it, it, that the, the, the person is getting gaining traction, they, they, they claim. Particularly this guy from, from, from Zimbabwe, the, um, you know, the one I, 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 you know the one I'm talking about, right? No, you're talking about you bet. You bet I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drop that one in. You bet. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Anyway, I'm not afraid of him. I'm just trying to, 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 to wind people up. It is you bet, Angel. Yes. Yo, but this is... Uh... There. I'm tongue struck. Let me drink another. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. He's now claiming or saying that, you know, because this is the thing. Um, the truth of the matter is, can anyone really be taught to do signs and wonders? Is it something that can be taught? Or it's a gift that is given of God? So okay, but your, of your God. own analysis on love, your own analysis on, on, on love, would you say he's a, he's a true man of God or is a true prophet or is just someone with passion and with uh, unresolved, you know, business? with his former spiritual father who's just trying to make up for what he feels like he lost in the I past. I would say he is a very capable and able vessel that God can use. Um, he is gifted in articulation and explaining. And actually, his way of analogy to help people understand elucidating a scripture he's very gifted with that the trouble that i have like i said is the company in which he is surrounded himself that can corrupt you and pollute you as a vessel you become uh, a, a, a tainted vessel so as a as a vessel of god god can use that guy um mightily um i mean I think he's, he's seen that. In, I was listening to his song. His song is called Zion or something. 
I was listening to that. And I think in that song, he does say a few things. If you understand his background and where he's coming from, you'll understand what it is that he's trying to put across in song. So, Love is a good, fake preacher. I think I agree with Blossom. Love is just a baby child, man. He does not know anything about scripture. This is that what I'm saying. He twists everything upside wait, down. Wait, what I'm saying is simple. But I'm, you asked me a question of my analysis. I am saying he can be used as a vessel of God. The trouble that he has is he has surrounded himself with people that are saying they can teach him how to be a prophet. He doesn't need that. He, if he just sticks to scripture and sticks to, he can be good. But he has polluted himself by the company that he's keeping. You, nothing comes good. Nothing good comes from you being friends with a guy like like passion or being under the stewardship or, or tutor or mentorship of someone like Hubert Angel. Nothing good comes out of that. Nothing. So as an individual, if he has to separate himself and find good guides and, and counsel from scripture and stand with that, he can be a good vessel. That's what I'm saying. But as of now, if as long as he's under the, the, the guidance or even the claimed guidance, of this uh, tall one from Mashingwe, then mm -mm, nothing good will come out of that. He's been beaten once. He comes close again. He will be beaten twice. That guy you know will what I, shout. You know what I think? I think that young man, he needs to heal first before he starts considering himself as a man of God. Because what he went through, if it's for a fact that his wife was uh, was child by his spiritual father. N not his wife. I don't think he was married. It was the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. If it's true that he lost his, uh, you know, his girlfriend to his spiritual father, he needs to collect himself and heal. He needs therapy. He started this whole prophetic ministry for the wrong reasons. Yeah, it's a way to get back. <clears throat> it's a way to get back and... Uh, he still thinks or feels like he's called for it, but he's just doing it out of frustration and claiming to love is now married, guys. Is he married now? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know about that one, but it could be true because you know he went off the radar. I mean, from the time that this happened to now, there's been a, a considerable time, enough time for him to have even got married and had kids because it's been a good do, six seven years why do the spiritual father sleep with their spiritual sons wives though well this is what happens if you visit benin these are the instructions that you are given so um i mean the spiritual father is just doing what he is supposed to do that's the covenant that he entered so um the trouble that we have is trying to enlighten people that these things that these guys are doing are far from uh, what we now know as Christian scripture. When we say spiritual fathers and things like that, this is non-scriptural. This is all Benin related. Nothing to do with scripture. So there's nothing that surprises me there. So that's why I'm saying you go and dance with a, with a python like that when it then starts to constrict you, don't be shocked because that's the nature of the python. It will constrict. It's a boa constrictor. It will choke you and swallow you whole. This is what it will do. Doctor, I wanted this to be 30 minutes and it's almost 30 minutes. What advice do you have for Lovi before we shut it down? <laughs> Stay away from the python. Stay away from the um, spirit of Jezebel. Stay away from all these popular um, charlatans that will try and make you famous because of prophecy or they, they, they tell you that they can train you to be um, prophetic and they can uh, show you how to uh, do signs and wonders. I mean, the tall one from Mashingo even now has a school, a school of signs and wonders. So you pay money to go and be taught how to do these things. Is that a gift from God? Or, or is it now a qualification? Is it Hogwarts? Is it something that has come out of a Harry Potter movie and uh, you've uh, taken uh, that into real life? This is like a, a Hogwarts of Zaka or something. 
So stay away from those things. Stick to scripture. Stick to uh, what you know. God can use um, Lovilo Ngomba as a vessel. Uh, Lovi Elias, uh, what he's calling himself now. He comes from a very gifted family. His uncle is Awilo Longomba, uh, a guy that gave us some very good music. If you are of uh, um, the rumba variety and um, uh, sukus and kwasa kwasa taste, uh, Awilo Longomba is a very famous guy. That's um, his uncle. Is it related to Longomba? Is it related? Is it related is, to Longomba? Awilo is his uncle. Oh, you should stick to music. I saw, I'll say it again. Love, you should stick to music. He can, he can be a very good gospel artist and maybe minister through music and stop doing the... the, the this is what I'm saying, that he can be a vessel that God can use. But now the charlatans are claiming him because they want him. They want to use him in another way. Mm. He's a good vessel. Okay. I want us to do another one about Ijele. You know, one of our brothers who was arrested, maybe in the next, uh, what time is it? In your next available, you know, time. You know, Ijele's uh, case is, 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 is painful. So we really need to, to do a protest on that one. I have an idea of how to do it. What time can we schedule you for this one, for the jelly one today? Um, I'm going to invite someone else who's going to give us like a breakdown of what really transpired. I don't know. We, 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 I'm, I'm free. I'm free today. Today, I, I, I was here. I even let my hair down to just try and inspire um, Lovilo Ngomba. And I know the other one, Passion, his is not, you know, his hair is not even real. <laughs> It's fake. He's got a fake dreadlock. I mean, <laughs> how insulting. And then you think that he can tell us the truth. No. <clears throat> anyway, let's drink water to that. That's about it, Doctor. I will check you out on the next episode of the Enlightenment series. My people, thank you for tuning in. But love you, Elias. I repeat. Stay away from you, Ben. Stay away from you, Ben. Elias, love you. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> okay my people we'll check you out later on we out <laughs>